getting his props from Marquise Grissom before the game. In the top of the second, all business. Mickey Morandini flies out to Grissom in center. Grissom comes up, throwing on Sosa, who's heading home. Collides with Bobby Hughes' shin guards in what Sosa described afterwards the wrong place. I think you know what Sosa means by that. He's shaken up, but he comes right back in the top of the third. Cubs up 2-0. Pulsifer gets him looking. Later in the third, Cubs up 3-0. Morandini at the plate. It's a ground at a first. It's a race between Morandini and Pulsifer, and Morandini wins the race. Jose Hernandez scores. It's 4-0 Chicago. They're up 5-0 at the Cubs in the bottom of the six. Jeff Cirillo at the plate. Cirillo grounds to Hernandez, who flips it to Morandini, and that's pretty. And worthy of a second look. With the glove, no hands. Morandini uses a hand, though. Top of the seventh, Brewers down 5-0. Phil Garner makes a pitching chain, checking out the balls, which was of issue over the weekend with St. Louis in town. Sosa at the plate. The pitching change, Al Reyes. And there it goes, deep to left. But it's back. Sammy back for another chance. Swinging. Sosa 0 for 4 on the night. More on this in a moment. Bottom of the ninth, Brewers down 5-2. Rod Beck on the hill for Chicago. Arm swinging. Marquise Grissom at the plate. Bat swinging. Base hit. Two batters later, one out. Here's Hughes at the plate. Drama building. Here's the pitch. Hughes, base hit. Grissom heads to third. We have runners on the corners. And Jim Riggleman watching Bobby Hamlin, the hammer, step to the plate, representing the tying run. Lots of isos, lots of bat swinging. And that'll wrap it up. Cubs win 5-2. Terry Mulholland with a clutch effort. He gave up one run on six hits and eight strong to snap Chicago's three-game losing streak. After two nights of McGuan Olerud walks against Mike Thurman. He has now tied the National League record for reaching base for the 15th consecutive time, a record set this season by Barry Bonds. Later in the inning, Mike Piazza, he is just ripping stuff up. Pardon, pardon for me borrowing the phrase. Dude. Oh, I'm, um, I must be butter. <laughs> Piazza ends up on second as the Mates take a 2-0 lead. Piazza's just on fire. Bottom of the first still. Mets up 3-0 now. Carlos Baerga, base hit. Brian McCray trying to score, but Derek May guns McCray out at the plate. Turnabout, fair play. McCray gunned down a Montreal Expo about 10 days ago to prevent a tying run from scoring to end the game. John Olerud's streak, however, in the bottom of the third, broken up at 15 straight. Played appearances by reaching base. Olerud 0 for 2. Two walks. He's now hitting 353. We're tied at 3. Top of the 6. Orlando Cabrera off the back of Dennis Cook and into center field. Mike Barrett, Vladimir Guerrero come on down. Expos take a 5-3 lead and place it into the very all-state-like hands of Uget Urbina. Two men on. Bottom of the 8th. Lenny Harris swinging. Bottom of the ninth. Expos still up 5-3. A man on for Todd Pratt. Tying run is Pratt. Urbina gets him swinging and that will wrap it up. The Montreal Expos beat the Mets 5-3 to three and those spunky Spos playing the role of spoiler big time. But then, well, against the Pirates, Barry Bonds lifts a John Lever offering deep into right field in the bottom of the first with two outs. Jose Guillen calls for it and then needs to call for help. Bonds would leg out a triple. Guillen in right field. Nonplussed. Stoic. Next batter, Jeff Kent, breaks up the scoreless tie. Under the glove of Freddy Garcia, Bond scores four more runs but cross the plate in the inning after the error. Bottom of the second, it's 5 nothing Giants. Bond's guy. 36th of the year, a blast. A two-run shot, Giants up 7-0. But in Bonds' next at-bat, bottom of the fifth, he checks his swing just briefly, but it's enough to irritate his lower back. He'd finish the at-bat and would walk, but would barely be able to walk after leaving the game due to back spasms. He's listed as day-to-day. -day. Giants give him 66, so... We'll compromise. Bottom one, no score. McGuire looking for 66 against Hampton. Trying to smack down. Deep fly ball to left center, but it stays in the park. Said Tony La Russa, he was grinding. He was really working. There was nothing there. Two batters later, Ron Gant up with runners at second and third. Gant on and cracking. Singles up the middle. Delano DeShields and Brian Jordan score. Gant, seven RBI his last two games. He said, I watched McGuire for so long, I figured I'd get something out of it. Between innings, Hampton. Throws his hat, his glove. Well, check out this nice forearm shiver he gives the wall. 
Looks like a WCW wrestler. Bottom three, McGuire flies out against Hampton again. Later, after Hampton hit an infield single, when he was at first base, he told McGuire, how about that? You hit one 371 feet, and you get an out. I hit one a foot, and I get a hit. Top four, Jeff Bagwell's bat snaps off at the barrel, and fans acted like it was a McGuire home run ball. Bottom eight, one last chance, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. 152nd time he struck out this year, second in the league to Sosa. Max Sammy, one, two, and Homer. Here we go. Top seven, one zip Rangers, runners in first and second. Chuck Finley facing Roberto Kelly. Kelly, just a buttery smooth bunt. Finley fields, throws high and wide. Royce Clayton scores from second. Finley's third E1 of the year, and it was costly. Two zip Rangers. Meanwhile, Rick Helen was doing mad, crazy work. Had his ground ball swerve working. Greg Jeffries, a 352 hitter, grounds to Royce Clayton at short. Next batter, Randy Bellardi, grounds to Clayton at short. Then Tim Salmon. You get the idea here. Serious ground ball theme. Gives me time to tell you that Helling allowed only three hits over eight innings. He allowed just two base runners to get past first over the first seven innings. He allowed just six balls out of the infield, struck out five, walked none. Helling induced 11 ground ball outs in eight innings. And we just showed you all 11. That's like Greg Maddox type pitching. Then top eight, Juan Gonzalez, as cool as the other side of the pillow. 45th home run of the year, 157 RBI. Angels fans still optimistic, but whoo, a little bit of deja vu all over again. For the second straight night, the Rangers beat the Angels. Jose Canseca, bottom one. Man up. Man up. Man up. Two run shot. 45th of the year, 24th at Sky Dome, a new club record. San Jose, being healthy means everything to me. First time with over 500 at bats since 1991. Bottom four, Orioles up 3 2. Tony Fernandez drives one deep to the track and left. Willie Green misses the ball and then bangs into the wall. Green remains down, motionless, as Fernandez rounds the bases for the 16th inside the park home run in the bigs this year. But back out in left field, Green remained down. It's one of those times that everybody realized the Blue Jays, three and a half games back in the AL wildcard race, really means nothing. Take another look. Crashes into the wall head first. Players and medical staff attended to Green. After 14 minutes on the turf, he was taken to a hospital, said to have suffered a neck strain and mild concussion. Bottom seven, Ken Seiko facing Mike Mussina again, and Jose blowing stuff up again. Fifth multi-homer game this year, 32nd of his career, 46th homer of the season, one shy of George Bell's team record. Jays win at seven. Well, they were on. Takes Julio Santana deep to left center, off the green monster. Garcia Parra, Troy O'Leary score. Bragg in with his 28th double of the year. He's got 55 RBI. Bottom three, Bo Sox up three zip, two on. Mo Vaughn representing to first. Ball bounces off Fred McGriff. Two run score, but Miguel Cairo guns Vaughn out at second. Vaughn has a season high 11 game hitting streak, but take one more look. Vaughn's grounder comes up and smacks McGriff right in the side of the face. If he's a baseball player, he'd be okay. Bottom five, Sox up 8 2, 2 on Mike Duvall making his first big league appearance. Gets Mike Benjamin to pop up. Cairo, see what, what, what had happened. Cannot make the catch. Two run score. Rule to hit. For Mike Benjamin, oh, man. Bo Sox going to win it 11 to 2. Pete Schur gets his first win as a Red Sox. He joked, "Just give me 10 runs and I'll take my chance." Field his fourth start of the season. At least they're not spelling Anski. Top of the second, no score. Mark Whitman at the plate. Spencer in left, flashing some leather. He slips on the throw, but he's okay. Bottom of the second, the sky is threatening, and so is Spencer. Takes Dave Burr, but deep and gone, almost over the old wall in Yankee Stadium. Fifth shot of the year for Spencer, 3 nothing Yanks. Spencer again busts up the whooping stick again in the fourth inning. Second homer of the game, 5-3 Yanks. Bottom of the sixth, Spencer seeking his third homer of the game. That's a nice look. The plastic poncho and cigar look. Spencer looking pretty good here. But David Justice, you want me on that wall? We have him on that wall. Bottom of the sixth, Joe Girardi at the plate. Manny Ramirez flashing some leather of his own. Rob's Girardi. Bottom of the seventh, Spencer getting a standing O. They want that third home run. Spencer hits one deep to left. Oh, if it's foul, it's a foul ball. Oh, it's a foul ball. So that means it's a foul ball. It does. Because it was foul. Chris Chambliss, the hitting instructor.
knowing a thing or two about homering in Yankee Stadium, he likes the effort. 10 4 is your final. After no score, runners on first and second base hit off of Chad OJ. Chuck Knobloch come on down. Spencer two for three with that RBI in the nightcap. One nothing Yanks. Next batter. Little chilly. And he served one up. Brian Giles at the wall. Makes a leaping grab. Derek Jeter scores 2 0 Yankees. Worthy of another look as his Giles grabs. Bottom of the eighth, 4 1 Yanks. Chili at the plate again, and he's robbed again. Enrique Wilson leaping, grabbing, guns out Davis at first. Omar Vizquel admiring his replacement's handiwork, and we will do so right now. Sandy Alomar Jr. letting Vizquel know he might be Wally Pip. With the sweep, the Yankees have 109 wins, one shy of the nothing runners on the corners Adrian Beltre belts one off a Dodger nemesis Joey Hamilton three run shot six of the season three one Dodgers got your score top of the seventh Greg Vaughn lines one to right out in right field making a circus grab round one uh, Stewart's drinking something over there otherwise he would have been on that top of the eighth two outs John Vanderwall on second Kilby Overis brings him down with a double in the right field corner off Chano Park it's a 3-2 game which is your score top of the ninth two outs runners on first and second Chris Gomez flies out to center field Jeff Shaw closes a Dodger 3-2 victory and the Dodgers celebrate Tommy Lasorda's 71st birthday by Millwood there's your man on first Lee looking and the inning is over. Millwood, five strikeouts, allowed one run in five Spires, innings. One left at the end of an inning. Much though, Bottom the of the second. Kevin Ory at the plate. Marlins down one nothing. Eddie Perez guns down Cliff Floyd. We've seen Eddie Perez defensively. Let's see him offensively. Against Rafael Medina in the fourth. Perez, sixth homer of the year, but more importantly, the Braves 208 homer of the year, and that breaks a 32-year-old franchise record. So we've seen him. There that you have to batting. Keep. We've there seen him catching. Let's see him run. Eddie Perez, the new highlight. First major league stolen base for Perez. He's in scoring position for Ozzie Guillen. And Guillen, base hit. We've seen him run. We've seen him catch. We've seen him hit. Now we see Perez using his head. Slotting between Greg Zahn's legs. That's savvy. And he's going to come to the second half of Sports Center, I think. It's Perez Center. Two for three with one RBI. Let's put the team record the Braves set Tuesday in perspective here. Most homers of any Braves teams, including the ones that included Hank Aaron. Home run derby night. Top of the first. Devon White takes Jamie Wright deep to right center and gone. One nothing Diamondbacks. Bottom of the first. Dante Bichette takes Omar Dahl deep and gone. We're tied at two. Top of the second. Kareem Garcia. Get out of town and I need it. 3-2 Diamondbacks. Next batter. Yahtzee. Yahtzee. Very good. 4-2 Diamondbacks. Bottom of the second. Mike Lansing. Booyah! This might be Solo shot, 4-3 yeah, Diamondbacks. Go ahead. E Travis That's Lee Travis Lee taking right deep and gone. 5-3 Diamondbacks. Mike Lansing, two homers on the night. We're tied at 5. Top of the 8th, Kareem Garcia takes Kurt Leskanek out. He's got a two-homer night. 8-5, to five. Mike Lansing. Gah. got to go on. Gah. Oh, okay, get Three-homer night for Lansing, but not enough for Colorado, believe it or not. Diamondbacks tied there. For